So, uh, hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Amesy's Corner here at Approved Auto in Plastow, New Hampshire. So, uh, on my last uh, Top 10 video, I did the Top 10 uh, favorite tools that I own. Uh, I also kind of tried to do a, a toolbox tour in that video, but the trouble was I was using a brand new camera that I had bought that I've since returned because I didn't really like the, the field of view. I didn't like its settings. So I figured I'd come in a little early this morning and uh, do a proper toolbox tour. Uh, I've got the, uh, I got a nice head mount so I can have both hands free and uh, I got my wide angle video recordinational device. So uh, let, me, uh, let me put that on and uh, let's take a look at what I got for tools. So, well all right guys, here I got the, uh, I got the head mount camera on. Uh, you guys should be able to see everything I'm looking at and doing. Uh, I want to start off with, uh, this is my whole corner, Amesy's corner right here. You know, I got, uh, I got the main toolbox, and I got this box over here, which I call my clean box. We'll get into that in a moment. Uh, first thing I want to show you, something I hooked up the other day, because I want to do longer videos. I've got a, a shutoff for the shop speaker in my bay. So that's, I call that my, uh, my YouTube copyright strike shutoff switch. So I don't get the music playing on my videos that I got to deal with later and <coughs> handle copyright strikes. Uh, next thing I want to show you is a little upgrade for the YouTube channel. I picked up a real DSLR camera, a nice uh, Nikon D3200. So uh, expect some uh, real improvement in the video quality as soon as I figure out how to use all of this camera's features. We'll uh, we'll get some good uh, some good shots this summer. Uh, this summer season is going to be a really good Amesy's Corner season. So if you haven't already subscribed, I recommend you do that. So anyways, let's uh, let's get right into this. So my first draw. Uh, usually when a technician fills his toolbox and decides how he wants his tools to be, he usually starts off with his most used to least used tools going down. Because uh, when you're working on a car, you want to top end really grab what you need. So. My first draw will be my, my socket draw. Everything that has to do with sockets and you know ratchets, extensions and all of that stuff goes in this draw. Uh, I also keep my, my rubber gloves in here just so they don't disappear as fast. I also keep my, uh, my Amesy's Corner cards for my YouTube channel. Whenever I work on a car and a customer is interested in the video, I'll put the name of their video on the back and I'll, I'll put the card on in the car so they can go back and watch the video of their repair or diagnostic or, or build or what have you. So uh, I got a lot of neat stuff in here. Some of my favorites in this drawer are going to be like these uh, these Cornwell really slim double-ended ratchets. I got two of these, one in three-eighths and quarter-inch. And then I got another one in quarter-inch. And then, uh, I mean, rather, yeah, quarter-inch. And uh, I think that's quarter-inch socket. So you can put like a screwdriver bit or what have you in there. Um, Another thing I like a lot of people don't see anymore, uh, this is my tool, this is my go-to tool for removing and installing spark plugs. Uh, if you can get this in, I don't like using air tools. I really don't like using ratchets on spark plugs because the torque's off to the side. This lets me really zim them out real fast. Uh, keep my big axle nut sockets back here, just big sockets, half inch set, deep, half inch set, shallow. My, uh, some of my favorite swivel impact sockets from Cornwell. Then I got my quarter inch, my 3.8 stuff, my turbo sockets. These were one of my top 10 favorite tools right here. Those things are a, those things are a lifesaver at the right time. Now 3.8 deep. I got a, oh, what do they call these? I can't remember at the top of my head. But uh, a lot of uh, a lot of European cars use that. Uh, Mercedes loves this hardware. And I got a little little snap on quarter inch set uh, Mac. Uh, Allen wrench set. I like this set. I actually made it on a rail that I cut the rail down so that these would stay in a little better. Uh, neat little gyro ratchet. Just something I picked up. I actually picked up one of these for all the techs here a couple Christmases ago. Morning Pete. Morning Pete. Morning. And then over here my uh, my trusty torque wrench. You know, if you can't you can't do half of this stuff without torquing, you know, axle nuts and whatnot. I still need to get an inch-pound torque wrench, but uh, the boss's box over there, we can use whatever we want. He, he takes care of that stuff. You know, Torx bit set. All my extensions kind of sit up on this nice little 
magnet holder. I find that's a real convenient place to put extensions. Not quite as organized as I would like it, but what can you do? You know, I'm not totally OCD about my tools. Even though Scotty Kilmer called me OCD, I, I take that as a compliment. And then the next draw down would be the next used tools. That would be my wrench draw. You know, nothing special. I fill this mostly up with ratchet wrenches. Because nowadays, you know, that's the way to go. If you haven't got a set of ratchet wrenches, this is a tool that you should get. Uh, get if you're a homeowner, weekend warrior, just get the cheaper version of those. And then I got uh, a, just a metric fractional. And then I got another metric wrench set. So if you got to put a lot of torque, this is what I'll use. This is actually a Cornwell set that I've had forever. You can see the I've worn the chrome right off. I should probably get most of these replaced. Uh, they'll replace these if the chrome's chipping and all that. Not too bad. How about yourself? Breathing. <laughs> That's something we got to do. And then down here is my uh, my screwdriver pick measurement stuff draw. You know my uh, digital vernier, something you really need doing exhaust work or measurements for for brake work and all that, tell people how many millimeters or, or uh, what not for their brake pads. Turbo torch, and then you saw my other cool tool, that pick set. And uh, you'll notice one of them disappeared. One of them, I don't know where that one went, but uh, that's the good thing with buying name brand tools. I know on Friday when the Cornwell guy comes, he's going to have that missing 90 degree pick on his truck, and uh, I'll get that hole filled in on Friday. And then uh, panel tools, these are really cool to get those clips off. You guys probably saw me using this on the, the Honda Crash Victim video. And then I got a nice uh, Cornwell screwdriver set. The boss actually gave me this set for Christmas a couple years ago. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And impact driver, something, you know, if you get stuck hardware in a tight spot or stuck screws in a, in a spot, we'll use that. You just hit that with a hammer, knock some loose. How many of you guys know what that is? I'll let you guys answer that. Answer that in the comments. What do you think that's used for? And then I got an old crappy screwdriver set, just a Stanley set. If I'm going to do something that's going to, you know, could damage a screwdriver or something rough and abusive, I'll use one of these cheap screwdrivers. I think that whole set was like $15 or $20 at Walmart. Next draw down, plier draw. Now, this is the technician's most hated draw. Uh, most mechanics can't stand their plier draw. It's so hard to keep this drawer organized. This is about about as well organized as it gets. And in here I have your basic uh, hose crimp and, crimp and pliers. If I got to close a line off, I'll use these. Uh, I also have these to do the same thing, but the vice grips with the rubber on them is a lot stronger than those. So I use what I need at the time I need it. And this is where I keep like my, uh, my electrical service stuff, strippers, different types of crimpers and strippers. Um, nice long pliers these these are great these are great to have one set of these uh, if you haven't got a set of long pliers these are like the max set you can get them cheaper uh, real real handy tool to have actually my favorite tool in this whole draw has got to be this old diamond pair of uh, pliers I don't know why I just always go to these for pliers um, one thing I don't like about a lot of these tools uh, pliers in general they have these these handy comfy grips on them. The trouble is when you're wearing gloves all day, you get gloves dirty, you go to grab these, they just hard to keep clean. I kind of prefer to have no coating on them. And then next draw down is my air tool draw. This is where I have that 3 8 impact ratchet, the micro lithium drill, a uh, couple of die grinders depending on what I'm doing. My uh, air hammer, this is a great super powerful air hammer. This thing will, will do a lot of damage, take out a lot of hard to get out stuff. Uh, I use that when I drill out spot welds. I'll use that to, to, to break the final weld on the spot welds. Uh, half inch gun from Cornwell. I don't really like this gun, but I'm stuck with it because I bought it. I just, I don't care for how the forward and reverse works. I prefer like, my 3 8 gun to have that up here, but it's still a good powerful gun and, and I've gotten used to it, so. And then my, my uh, 3 8 drive, handy little tiny air ratchet. I really like this tool. Uh, it's a no-name brand, or uh, Chicago Pneumatic or something, but it outlasted my uh, my name brand versions of those. I've had like a, a Cornwell one that kept breaking. I had a Mac one that kept breaking, but this cheaper one here just does the duty. And then the gear wrench. Surf belt tool. You guys saw that on my top 10 favorite tools. That was, I think, one of the honorable mentions. And then next draw down is like my hammer, drill, uh, draw, 
keep all my hammers, my uh, pry bars, seal extractor tool, dead blow, my body hammers. I got all my uh, my dollies in here. Body hammers. This is where I keep that those bellows you guys saw the easy intake. And then the other top tool was the the hose clamp tool. And I like my air vac. And then this here would be my power steering pump pulley remover because uh, nowadays a lot of power steering pumps you got to pull the pulley off in the vehicle or when you buy the new pump it doesn't come with a it doesn't come with a pulley on it so you got to reuse your pulley and uh, that's where I keep that just some crappy old drill bits I don't really buy a lot of drill bits I find I don't do a whole lot of drilling and uh, if I got to do a lot of drilling I'll just go to the tool store almost right back next door and I'll just go buy the drill bit I need for application and then the next draw down is kind of like my uh, my metal working draw. This is where I put just awkward stuff, like uh, my die, my uh, angle grinder, my heat gun, just some paint for the saw and tap, and just some junk and stuff in here. Uh, I'm not really as organized as I'd like to have it, but it is what it is. And then these draws here are really just kind of just just junk draws. Just keep random stuff for whatever project I get going on. <coughs> and then the next drawer up is my diagnostic drawer. This is where I keep uh, like my power probe circuit tester. Well, that, that's a great little tool right there. That, that probably should have made it on my 10 list. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, that's where I keep my scanner, my Mac EM710 multimeter. Uh, love this meter. Really do like that meter. Uh, I'm sure you can find it. As another manufacturer probably makes it and Mac puts their name on it, but whatever. I like that tool a lot. And I got a, uh, you know, test light, spark tester, uh, some leads. These things here are wire piercing probes uh, for back probing. Those are really handy too. Those actually fit right on. Those fit right on the, the leads to my multimeter. And then the rest of this is just, junk, you know, I keep like consumables in this drawer. I got to actually restock that drawer. Uh, personal receipts and stuff and personal stuff and paperwork goes in there. And then over here is the clean box. This is where I keep like my fender covers, my uh, mechanics wear aprons that I use when I polish headlights. Uh, different, uh, here's, here's like a junk tool draw. Here's one of those Mac 3H ratchets. Uh, this thing maybe lasted me six months. I had sent it out, had to spend $75 to send it out. It, uh, it came back. I had to send it out again, then it came back again and broke like a month later and I just gave up on it. I gave up on that. It was like a $200 tool just kind of to give up on. But this is where I put misfit tools. Uh, I recently gave a bunch of this draw to, to Musty One just because uh, it was overflowing and stuff I never really use. And then down here I keep an old shipping blanket just for doing whatever. Uh, if I got to lay on something dirty or something I want to keep clean, I'll put that on. And I got some rubber under there nothing special and then you know gloves usually I keep towels up in here I don't think I have anything in these three drawers at the moment yeah nothing in those sometimes I'll keep rags or or if I'm doing a job that's going to be apart for a long time I'll put the hardware in these drawers and then up here uh, just some flashlights I haven't really mounted to the wall yet my my knucklehead this probably should have made it on the top 10 list too but I had other cooler tools and then my stinger and whatnot and then, uh, and then my service cart, this is like my uh, right hand man tool, tool man right here. And uh, this goes with me on every job, every tool, every part goes into here. Uh, I think I explained that on the, the top 10 tools video. Uh, and I got, you know, just a shelf. This is where I'll do like my time lapses. I'll set you guys up here to do the time lapses. I leave those notes here. I uh, could use a little organization at the moment, but it is what it is. And then, uh, you know, my backsplash, this right here was actually uh, a cover for here, but when you had it open, it would be up to here and it couldn't fit this under a car. So uh, I used it as a nice magnetic place to stick magnetic stuff, just, you know, what have you. And then uh, back here, you got my, my floor dryer, airline, oil drain bucket, I got my trash barrel, dead man lift. This is my, uh, my workbench. I got this little... Uh, this is an old uh, mass semi-truck mud flap that I use because it's got these little serrations really hold a lot of gunk. So when I'm doing like scraping gaskets off, this kind of collects it and keeps it from going everywhere. And uh, all the shop tools we keep right here, uh, ball joint press, hub tamer, uh, slide hammer, what have you. And then uh, up here, we got just my, uh, my snap-on sandblaster. 
I don't really use this very often in this new shop just because this can make a mess really fast. Looks like it needs to be fixed. And then just a broken rim and some other extension cord stuff. Um, this is where I keep like my rags. I got to restock that today. So anyways guys, that's uh, that's pretty much a little better uh, better tour of my box in Amzie's Corner. So uh, like I was saying, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, I recommend it. It's going to get uh, Amzie's Corner is going to look like it's going to have a really good summer. So uh, anyways guys, I got a, I got a car to fix and I got to get the heck uh, on it. So until next time. Until next time guys. Keep it out of the cabbage.